Hey, welcome back. We're at Exodus chapter 12 today, verses 48 to 51, finishing out the chapter. But if a stranger sojourns with you and celebrates the Passover to the Lord, let all his males be circumcised, and then let him come near to celebrate it, and he shall be like a native of the land, but no uncircumcised person may eat of it. The same law shall apply to the native as to the stranger who sojourns among you. Then all the sons of Israel did so. They did just as the Lord had commanded Moses and Aaron. And on the same day, the Lord brought the sons of Israel out of the land of Egypt by their hosts. Okay, so this is the end of chapter 12, a very pivotal chapter. We spent a lot of time here, but well worth it. We noticed as we worked our way over to this the last couple of mornings, how strong here is the insistence on circumcision. This was a clear defining element of who was and who was not in the community. And I've already commented how today there's such a, 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 a visceral hatred of distinction in anything that might be exclusive or unique to a certain community. But that's a poison in our time, and as followers of the Word of God, we need to rise above that and be true to what God has revealed. What we see here is that God's people are to re retain a great distinction, a great difference between themselves and Egypt, and from the culture of Egypt. If you are inside God's group, you're clearly accepted. If you're outside of his group, then you're clearly outside. So there's not any fuzzy-wuzzy business here. You're in or you're out, and you get to choose. Even the non-Jewish person we see here, if he complies with the, the guidelines here, with the, it's not guidelines, but if he complies with the definite requirements here, then he's treated the same, the same law for those that are inside and those that are outside. There's one same law for everyone. And finally, verses 50 and 51 tell the reader that all this stuff we're reading about, it actually happened. They did it. This is what happened. One other thing here at the end of this section, we begin to see what we might call army language. You know, it talks about them marshalling, uh, organizing into hosts as they go out. And now they're going to uh, begin crossing the desert and tra they're on their way. They're traveling toward Israel. All right, we'll pick it up at chapter 13 tomorrow morning. Thank you for joining me today. May God bless you.